lotus is a common Buddhist symbol because it blooms on top of the water, uh, uh, but it has its roots in the muck. So no matter how wonderful our enlightenment may be, we still have our roots in the muck at the bottom of the pond. Buddhism here in Eugene, just like many places in the States, Europe too, is still really growing. My teacher, G.U. Kennett, really tried to adapt Buddhism to the West. Uh, she found the Japanese language just didn't work with English words, and so she dug out her old music notebooks and put everything to Western chant. In Buddhism, we have the three refuges. They're the objects of our faith. You know, so we have Buddha, and then we have Dharma, and then there, the third one is Sangha, which is the community. Dharma is the teaching of the Buddha. The Buddha taught a way to not get rid of suffering, but how to live with it. The purpose of Dharma is to use it, you know, is to apply it in daily life. You can have wonderful medicine, but unless you take it and use it, it doesn't do you very much good. Sometimes we say, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. We'll start this retreat with a chanting of a scripture. It's the scripture of great wisdom, also called the Heart Sutra. It's fundamental teaching that in the midst of this diversity, all is still one. The ceremony begins with bows or prostrations. These, again, are, are done to express our devotion, our dedication to Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, the three treasures. You'll see us lifting our hands above our heads, and when we do that, you know, it's to, again, symbolize that there's something greater than me. I think the Buddha would be happy if people use this teaching anyway they want it because it was, it's medicine. We're one brand of the medicine. 